So in this tutorial for WM Form, what we're going to discuss is importing and exporting data to and from the Trimble displays. So to start with, I've got my project up here, and I'm just going to go ahead and start a new project, and I'm just going to call this one my test project for right now, um, along with a test field that I'm going to include in there. Um, if you previously have opened the software, you would see a screen similar to what I had where you could open up a previous project, or if you're utilizing the demo, um, you would have to go in and simply just tell it that you want to demo the software or sign in with your uh, Connected Farm single sign-on. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell it next, and now it will allow me to browse to the location of my file data set. For a FMX or a TMX display running FMX Plus, what we're looking for is the only two types of files we can import at the present time. So we're looking for either a field level XML file format or a multiplane.txt. And real quick, I want to switch over to the FMX display to make sure that everyone understands where those data file formats will come from. So on my FMX simulator I'm going to use here on my desktop, the first place that we would go to is our in our data files. And this would be a very similar format if you're using the FMX Plus application on the TMX display. But I'm going to go into my data files. And then this will bring me into my internal storage. And what I'm looking for is underneath the field data. And I'm going to scroll down to the client farm and field on which I recorded my survey data set. So underneath my client, which is Trimble, I have my farm, which I also labeled Trimble. And then I have my field, which I labeled as survey. Now, one important thing to note is the survey data from WM survey is recorded at the field level. So if we go down one more level, we can actually see the individual event. Um, depending on how you manage your data sets, if you copy over the event and only the event, um, then you may lose the field level XML or the multi-plane text file that we're actually looking for. So you can either copy the entire client or at a minimum, make sure that you copy the entire field over to your USB thumb drive when you bring this out. Now, obviously there are ways that we can do this through Connected Farm, different ways to transfer the data set. I'm just showing a very simple uh, version here of being able to export that data set over to a USB drive and then bring it into the software. So we wanna make sure that we bring the field level side copy that over to our thumb drive. When we bring our thumb drive back to the office then, what we're looking for is on our thumb drive now, we should have created an Ag GPS folder. Um, the rest of the information in here is just some other files that I have stored on the thumb drive, but we wanna go underneath the Ag GPS folder and we're looking for our field data set. And again, in here we see our client, our farm, and our field information. And so if I open up the field, we see one more folder here, which is actually the event that we talked about on the previous screen when we looked at the display. If I go underneath the event level, we can look through here and we'll see some XML files, but we don't actually see the field level XML file that was in here. And that's because I went all the way into the event we need to take one step back, which puts us underneath the field level. So we have our client, our farm, and our field. And now in here, we're able to see our field level XML file and our multiplane.txt file. So we can use either one of those when we import this data set into the field. So what we'll do now is I will go back to the WM form software And now when I go to import the field data, I want to browse. And just like I showed you in the previous file, we want to browse to our thumb drive. We want to browse underneath that Ag GPS file format under our data folder. 
and then again our client, our farm, and our field. And now we can see that it's automatically selected for me only the text and XML files because that's the only thing that we will read in today into WM form. And if I choose the XML file, it's going to automatically set my software accordingly. And for this example, I'm going to show you the multiplane.txt import option because if you select the text file, there are a couple other options for us when we go through the import feature. So I've selected my file format. I'll go ahead and hit next. And now if we're using the XML, this screen will normally be skipped because it will automatically take the settings and apply it to your field. But because we're doing the text file format, it gives us a few more options in here to create different settings for it. So the file name point IDs should always be selected for you automatically because we assign point IDs along with X, Y, and Z values in our system. So we have the ability to set it whether or not we're working in metric or in English units. Then we can also adjust how our coordinate system is set up. And in most of ours, we're using X, Y, and Z. So our latitude, longitude, and elevation, it gives us the ability to adjust in case our text file is reversed or if we're using UTM coordinates and we're doing a northing, easting, and elevation setup in there. So I'll just go ahead and tell it next, and now it's going to start importing my file for me. When we get to the project wizard here for our design type then, we have the ability to choose between land leveling, irrigation, or sub-design areas. Land leveling is going to give me the ability to do planar design, which is basically a direct replacement for the older multi-plane software. So I can create individual surfaces or I can add hinges or breaks. We'll talk about irrigation and sub-design area in other tutorials. So right now, because we're just focusing on importing the data and then exporting the data back out, I'm just going to use a simple land leveling file in here and go ahead and click next. Now it gives me one last chance to where I could actually change the project name or the field name before it actually creates my file structure for me. But I can go ahead and call this, if it's field 600 that I'm working with, I can go ahead and change that if I choose to. And then I can finally tell the file to finish. And that completes this tutorial of importing WM survey data into the WM form software.